Hey guys, welcome to my channel. Thank you so much for clicking on this video. I really appreciate it. Today I want to do an overview of my experience with Invisalign. I'm still in the process. Um, as you can see, my teeth are not completely straight yet, but I have noticed a huge difference from the moment that I started to now. As of now, I have 20 Invisalign liners. The actual Invisalign is called a liner, so I have 20 of them. And then what I do is I switch from one to the other every two weeks. So after two weeks, I pop the one that I currently have on, I put it back into the where it came from, and then I grab the next one over and I put that one in. Fortunately, today is the day that I go from uh, liner number 10 to liner number 11. So this one right here is number 11, and I will be putting it on at the end of this video so you guys can see how I do that. Before I get into that, I wanted to answer a couple of questions that I've had um, throughout this experience. The first thing is, when you get the Invisalign, you're given this packet right here, and this has these two holders in it. And in my first video where I get my Invisalign for the first time, you can see that I say that I'm going to have my top one on one of, one of them and my bottom liner on the other. And I've actually changed that since um, doing this process. So what I do now is I keep one of these in my purse at all times, whatever purse I'm using, and then I keep this one at home. So that way I make sure that I'm not without my case at any time. And I actually put both liners in one because it's very easy to distinguish which is the top and which is the bottom. Now to open these all you have to do is press and another thing that I keep in here is this thing right here. This is called a cedar and when you put the Invisalign in it's pretty tight so what you want to do is you want to bite this across your mouth, across your teeth like so, and go all the way around so that that way the liner gets seated right into um, the space that it has to be so that it starts to move your teeth as efficiently and quickly as possible. I wear each liner for two weeks. I've talked to people that wear a different liner every week. For me, just because of the way that my teeth were spaced in the crowding, I'm going to do every two weeks. Now, when you first put in the liner, you're going to have a lot of pain. So I'm not going to lie and say that it's not painful because it definitely is and that there's a lot of pressure. So the first three days when you wear the liner, is really where the maximum amount of movement is happening. The next few days is really where your mouth is getting adjusted to the new position of your teeth in that moment. So there is still some pain that happens during that time, but it's not as bad as the first few, few days. I wear the liner 22 hours a day, so I only take them off to eat. And before I started to have the Invisalign, I would eat pretty much regularly. I did my carb cycling, and you can see that in a different video, which I'll put right here. Um, I did my carb cycling regularly, but now I've had to adjust the way that I eat. So unintentionally, it's almost as if I'm doing an intermittent fasting type of lifestyle because I prolong the time that I'm going to eat, and I actually eat a higher volume meal instead of eating small, regular sized meals throughout the day. It just is a lot better because every time that I take my Invisalign out, even if it's for 20 minutes, when I put them back in, your teeth already move within that short period of time. It's kind of crazy how quickly uh, you'll feel <laughs> the shift in your teeth. And then when I have to put my Invisalign back on, it's really painful. So I want to avoid taking them out as much as I can. Now, I only drink clear fluids Pretty much I only drink water. Sometimes I will put some clear BCAAs in my water and I only drink the white monster when I have my Invisalign in. Ideally, you're not supposed to drink anything but water, but sometimes because I am prolonging the time I need to eat, I need to have some type of caffeine or something with flavor that's going to allow me to um, not be super hungry. And caffeine is a little bit of an appetite suppressant, so it helps me prolong the time that I need to eat so that I'm not in more pain than I have to be. Now, because I work out a lot and I want to make sure that I maintain my healthy lifestyle and that I hit my macronutrients, I want to make sure that in that high volume meal, usually I have two a day, I want to make sure that I'm hitting my protein and making sure that I have enough calories because I am still working out and I am still trying to lead a healthy lifestyle and not eat things that I shouldn't. So high volume meal, making sure that I stay within my macronutrients is number one. The other thing that has changed a little bit is my workout routine. So 
the first few days that I put in my Invisalign, like I mentioned before, there's a lot of movement and it's very, very painful. So the first day, I usually try not to work out. So that will be my day off if I absolutely need it. If I can't work out and the pain is not so bad, then I, I will work out if I can beat the headache. But the headache does come, so I make sure to always have some Aleve or some ibuprofen on hand. And make sure if you're going to have ibuprofen or a leave or any type of uh, over-the-counter anti-inflammatory that you do eat with it, okay? At least just a little bit of something. Usually I will limit my cardio on the first few days after I put my Invisalign in because when your heart rate is accelerated, you can feel the throbbing in your gums and it becomes very uncomfortable. So I've had to change a little bit how I do my exercise. So the first few days after I put on my Invisalign, I do more of a strength training at a lower intensity, a little bit longer. And then after the fourth day or so, then I can kick up the intensity and get a little bit more cardio and then lift a little bit heavier weight because I'm not feeling the throbbing and the pain that comes um, in my head and in my face. After two weeks of getting the Invisalign, they put on my teeth small glue-on things that are called buttons and I pretty much have them on every tooth except for the front teeth right here on the top and a couple teeth in the middle on the bottom. And the buttons are placed on your teeth so when you put the Invisalign on it helps anchor, they're used as anchor spots to help pull the teeth apart and help with the crowding. It looks a lot different than I imagined because I imagined just like a simple thing over your teeth and that's it. But that's not the way that it actually looks. You can see the bumps on the Invisalign itself and you can see how the Invisalign has to go around those. The next thing that I wanted to show you guys is my little packet. So I have just a basic makeup bag and in here I have all of the things that I'm going to need to carry with me. I try to carry this, this bag with me everywhere I go. Let me show you what's inside. I have a small Listerine mouthwash right here and I actually purchased a huge one and then I just fill this because I want to be able to carry it with me. I have a small toothpaste right here which I will be replacing soon. I have a toothbrush right to here and I have another toothbrush, one of those portable ones that comes in and out. So I have that and I also have more of the chewy things which which these are the the cedars that I was just telling you. See these these guys right here that I use to bite. I have a cedar in each of my cases and then I have an extra one that I keep in my bag. Even though I always have my case with me, I still want to have one of these in my bag because you never know if for whatever reason I drop it on the ground or something happens. I don't want to pick it up and use that one again. I always want to have a spare. I use this packet and everything inside of it after I eat my lunch at work. I go, I take this to the bathroom, brush my teeth, use a mouthwash, I brush the actual Invisalign liners themselves and then put them back in and then I know that everything is good. So you have to have very good dental hygiene when you have the Invisalign on because if you don't wash your teeth and you're not taking care of all of the stuff that can build up in your teeth, then the food stays in there and it's trapped behind the plastic. So you're at a higher risk of getting um, cavities and plaque and all of that. So you want to be careful. When I go to a restaurant and I know that I may not be able to carry this in my purse or whatever it may be, I take them out of the restaurant, I have my meal, I go into the bathroom and I just rinse my mouth and then I put them back in. As soon as I get home, I will do all of my cleaning and everything. But as life goes, sometimes it's very difficult to go ahead and like bring your toothpaste and your toothbrush and do you know, your whole oral hygiene regimen routine in the bathroom of a fancy restaurant. Sometimes I will just put them back in after I eat my meal and I rinse my mouth in the bathroom because I know that I'm going to be going home right away. If you're not going to be going home right away, then I definitely recommend just bringing this with you. Use a bigger purse if you have to because it's just so important to be able to do all of the things that are necessary. Make sure that your teeth and your gums stay healthy during this process. Invisalign can cost uh, a couple thousand dollars depending on your insurance. 
I had most of mine covered through my insurance and then I make regular payments. Um, but I don't want to go into that because everybody has a different um, starting point and I had a lot of crowding on the bottom of the bottom teeth so I don't want to necessarily tell you it's going to be this much because maybe it'll be far less or maybe it'll be far more for you I don't know so we're not going to go into any of like the budget type stuff the thing that I forgot to mention is that sometimes I will use I don't have any more left but they are like these little discs that are made of like uh baking soda or something similar to that, I will put them in that with water and it's the same stuff that's used to clean dentures and that really cleans them really well. I'm going to open the one that I have to put on today so that I can show you what the shape looks like with the buttons. Now we're going to go ahead and sh I'm going to show you how I remove them. So before I used to just grab from the front and just pull down but I learned from one of the dental hygienist tech guys the best way to remove them is through the back so what I do is I use my first finger pointer finger here and I go behind my teeth here and I pull down and see how it loosens it and then I do the same thing on the other side and see it comes out super easy so because today is the day that I have to switch them and I'm going to tray or liner number 11, I usually use put my old ones in here. I'm not going to put them in here right now because I'm going to clean them and then put them in there. But it's a really good idea to save your liners just in case something happens with the ones that you're currently wearing. If something were to happen to the liner and you don't have the one that you need to wear next or it's too soon, then you can always pop in the old ones. Um, until you can get to the dentist. So now I'm going to take off the bottom ones. To do that, I use my thumb and I go to the back. Now this time, instead of going inside the curve, I'm going on the outside, right here, and the other side. And now I just lift up. So that is a lot less painful than it used to be. And now this is how my teeth currently look. And I am ready to put in the new ones. So I have the new ones right here. Um, these are going to be really tight and then you want to be really careful when you're pushing down that your gum is not pulled in because sometimes when we go like this our gum pulls in and then it pinches and it's really really tight when you put these in so it's really hard to get that gum out of there and sometimes it just rips the, the gum from the inside or the cheek from the inside and it really hurts so I'm going to put it in and then push down. So right now it's not in all the way but I can't physically push it down anymore without using the chewy cedar things. So before I do that I'm going to put in the top. I may, it may be hard for me to talk here in a second but bear with me. So I'm going to put in the top, make sure my cheeks are pulled off. So here. So my cheeks are pulled and then I'll push. Okay, so I got it in right now. It's pretty tight. I'm going to use the cedar and I'm going to start from the back and just wipe down. And there you go. So now they're in. Now every time I switch them, I always feel like I talk a little bit weird just for the first few hours or whatever. Um, perfectly normal. If you haven't checked out my first video where I put them on, check it out right here because I talked way weird that first time. That It's so funny actually. I don't even like to look at it because I'm like, oh my god. But anyway, I hope that this answers your questions. I have a, had a lot of questions on how I'm doing and if you have any other questions, please leave them in the comments below. I want to do more of an update a couple more times before I finish my Invisalign journey. That is going to conclude this video. I hope that you guys found it helpful. Thank you so much for watching. Be sure to leave me a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe, hit that bell notification, and I will see you guys soon in the next video.